Hey guys, what's up? This is my first ever career mode on this channel and it's gonna be a Granada career mode in the La Liga. And also, sorry if I sound like I've just been punched because I actually have. No, I haven't, but I'm actually quite ill, so yeah, but that's not gonna stop me from making this career mode. Anyway, we're just choosing our manager and none of these managers actually look like me, so it's really bad. So I just actually chose the one, I don't know, that somewhat, kind of, that represents me and we just move on. And as you can see, I've chose the difficulty to world class, five minute. And I was planning on changing the stadium as well, but then I realised, should I make it more realistic and have the actual stadium or... So in the end, I just decided to keep the default stadium, because it actually kind of looks like the real one, the real stadium that Granada plays for anyways. So yeah. And moving on, we get the pre-season tournament invite. I'm just going to accept it because I doubt that Granada has any sort of budget that we're going to have to work with. So yeah, and I chose the one in Germany because that's the most money and, you know that's what we do and moving on with the emails we get the objectives and the scout you know all that kind of stuff our vision and expectation here we can see the objectives so the youth development it's medium so within two seasons they want at least one player from the first team so like we have to do that this season brand expo exposure low within three seasons okay whatever very low so basically I have no objectives for continental domestic we need to finish mid table and reach the round of 32 that's achievable I think and moving on on financial short term high so they they need to so so i need to make sure how many so i need to make sure how much i spend and all that and moving on we're going to meet the team that's going to beat barcelona 7-0 anyway in goal we're going to have ochoa the mexican god and we don't need, really need four goalkeepers so i just put like someone transfers someone on loan that pole guy was recently arrived so i couldn't sell him and one other thing i noticed is most players in this team they're all like loaned in so basically i have no good like starting 11 players that's actually owned by granada so that's one of the targets i need to buy in players because all of these guys are just loaned in. There's no point. Because after one season, they're just gone. And after this season, I don't want to end up with like a 64 rated, I don't know, like 30 year old player. And this guy's this guy's the only good talent in this team. Victorian Agban. 19 years old, 70 rating. And he says that he's got the showing great potential tag. So, so yeah, we, we're going to implement into the team. And moving on, we can see other players. Most of them are contracts are running out. Old players slow old players and low young players that are, and basically no young players that are actually owned by the club and too many camps that are loaned in are as well like Pereira and this Boga guy and the ones that we actually own he's like 68 rated and 21 so that's basically our luck in this game like why do we need Toro and Pereira oh, okay I don't know and Isaac Quenza I might start him over the other guy on the right wing position and you'll soon see the formation and what players are going to be playing as you can see more old David Barrel 33 years old what a beast no just kidding he's gonna be on the transfer list so many shit places about 27 years old 64 sprint speed what the hell can you do with him he's out he's gonna be sold look at these players 7 66 rated at 20 just that's not what we want here you can see me assembling the team and i wasn't sure whether to play that ag and ban or whatever his name over like sergi sampa because you know that guy's actually owned by us and Seiji Sampa is gonna just go back to Barcelona after this season but I might just I might just keep swapping him and that Marquez guys anyway moving on to the training drills we have that Agban guy because you know he's the only player that that's actually owned by us so I'll just put him on all the slots except that one slot where the Ponce guy goes in we skip that and we get and we get some average to shit result and also looking at the team, I figured three weaknesses and that was centre back, centre attacking mid and striker. So like I went ahead and shortlisted a few players and this literally took like ages. So I'm just going to fast forward this bit so it's like much, you know, so it's not that boring and stuff. And I'll get, talk to you guys in a second. Anyway guys, these are the players that I came up with from my search. And it's going to be Jermaine Justude, yeah, Jermaine Juice guy for centre back, Danny Sabalos for central attacking mid Malcolm Lucas Evangelista and Zara Zardes Plier and Lewis Muriel I know I'm not going to get all of these players but at least I need to get one of them from each position and just dude was the or whatever he's called he was the best he was the best option available considering his price and you know all the other things I'll make an offer for these players in a second but first you can see me altering the instructions for the global transfer network I basically changed what was already there and like changed it to like what we need as you can see also I had to make sure I had to scout like the pro the promising and the prolific section for any age. Well, not any age, but the ages between like 70 to 21 or whatever I put. 
because you know these instructions give you like the best talents from all around the places that I'm scouting and moving on to the finance you can see you know all the profit earnings and expenses in the club and also what players I sold and what players we bought well not me but the manager in real life you know what I mean also looking at the transfer negotiation section you can see that we've sold some decent players as well Ruben Rochina guy especially 25 years old and starts at 77 rating so yeah that's one of the big hole to fill which is exactly what we're looking for cams because we really can't be asked to rely on like low knees and stuff here you can see that i'm creating like a second team not that i have extreme amounts of depth but like you know might as well put the place up you already have and none of the low knee twats are going to get in the team because you know they're only here for one season and they just we just don't want them they can go away and yeah i just put some random groups of players together for the second team you know at the end of the day it's second team no one cares it's just going to be used for like pre-season season and like maybe some cup games that we can we could easily win all those which don't care about moving on we have our first pre-season game and it's against Stuttgart and guess what we're just gonna skip this bitch and we end up let's see yep that's right we win 2-1 and also guys here here you can see that I've made a offer for Danny Sabalos 4.5 million probably not nowhere near to what they actually want and we're just gonna continue skipping and we've got a game against Sampdoria. We're also going to skip this because, you know, we really can't be asked. First team, skip this. And hopefully we win. And we probably not. Okay, let's go. Oh, we. Oh my god, we actually won. 1 0 Quenza. Cool. And guys, we finally have the squad rep. What the fuck? Scout report back, and we also get like a bad news as well. And the bad news is that our left back, Frag Tabano, gets injured. Yep, that's right. For two months as well. Isn't that just great when you just start a career mode and you get injured? Anyway, moving on. I think I just look at Malcolm and like try to make a good offer for him. We're just looking down players on who to offer. I was thinking of this Clifford Abo gay guy and three million. But I believe that was rejected, so yeah. And also I make an offer for Saint Juice, which was one point three million and Martins. Also I made two point six million, which was the base value for that Lucas Evan Gleister. Also our transfer business gets cock blocked by this preseason game and we're just gonna skip this against Middlesbrough. You know, second team. The bunch of retards. No, I'm just kidding. And we skipped this game. And do we win? No. So they were retards then. 2-1 we lost. Great. But I don't care at this point. I just want to get the transfer business done. And right after that, we get an email. And as you can see, Udinese and Heron Rain accept the offers for St. Just and that Lucas guy. So we're just going to be offering the contracts at the moment. Exactly what he wants for St. Just, except that I just don't offer him a squad role. Because, I don't know, Future could buy a better centre-back. And he could be just rotting on the bench. And same with this guy as well. Also, when I made an offer for Sardis, it turns out another club made a similar offer. So, like, I just sneakily went in behind and offered a cheeky 3.51 million when they offered 3.5. So, that should hopefully, like, get accepted. Also, moving on, I tried to get Luis Muriel for 5.2 million and Barrow, but it just keeps getting rejected. Sampdoria doesn't want him to leave the Stadio Luigi Ferraris, and we're just going to be keep trying for Zardes at this point because we can actually afford Zardes. And yes, more boring friendlies. We're just going be skipping against Montpellier probably gonna lose as well I mean but I already know that we're gonna lose cuz yeah see assessing you on two goals and after that we get an interesting group of emails so apparently Lucas Evangelista gets accepted send gets rejected but all he wants is just a role and I just offer him the same wages and stuff and that should hopefully persuade him to come to Granada and Malcolm also gets accepted for 5 million offer him exactly what he wants important first team because because he's gonna exactly be that 75 rate 19 you don't pay 5 million just for him to sit on the bench and yeah we're just skipping through all these emails and just we just want to sign someone come on and what do you know a transfer offer and two offers get accepted zardes you know just give him what he wants pace a pace for needs what he wants so yeah exactly that important first team player zardes force our week and force our skills you know and transfer offer for nigera what the hell okay one one year alone he's gonna go and lucas evan to also get accepted i could accept i could literally just buy him now but i just want to wait for the malcolm offer so i just wait for him as we're talking of getting accepted saint juiced also gets accepted and saint juice is going to be our number one signing for this club center back position it's all going to be his. And we just need Malcolm and Zardes at this point. Also, I try try to get Lewis Muriel, but I just, at this point, I just know that he's not going to accept 7 million. Well, Sam Dory ain't going to accept 7 million. And literally, after waiting and waiting and waiting, we finally get the email that Jesse Zardes 
can join us. 3.5 million. Our sneaky tactic worked. And he's he's going to be our second signing. Also, Malcolm, welcome to the club. The next the next talented Brazilian that's going to make his mark on this place. And Evan Glusta just because we just don't need him anymore and he doesn't get accepted so we pl- signed three players episode guys malcolm zardes and saint juiced also clifford abeoge also goes on loan to sell a severe atletico hopefully he can get some experience and grow and after that guys we sort out the training thing because now that we actually bought some players we can actually put them in rather than just relying on one player and finally this is how teams gonna look i'm gonna take out bueno and put in Malcolm at central attacking mid. As you can see, I'm just going to be scrolling down, putting and also put Bueno on the bench for Pereira because you why not? And also Agban gets replaced by that Marquez guy. But I think I'll just be swapping them around and you know playing both of them at the same time. Zardes, we can't forget about Zardes. And here you see I decide between Vezo and Senjus. But for now, I just put Senjus at centre back because because I'm just going to put him on training and wait for his stats to grow. So by then, he can get replaced by one of them too. Probably going to be Vezo because he's on loan. But yeah, for now, he's going to be on the bench. And as you can see, Zardes also gets put in. Hey guys, we put in the fix to the puzzle, the final fix, which is Malcolm, centre attacking mid. He's going to be playing there just behind the striker. And we're going to be swapping the wings. Quenta playing on the uh, left side and the other guy playing on the right because the other guy's left foot so he can easily cut in and score from 40 yards against Real Madrid anyway um yeah this is the team guys we have Ochoa in goal Tito right back Lomban centre back playing alongside Vezo and the left back's going to be Tabanu for now and moving on to the midfield we have we have Kirkin and the CDM that I can't pronounce Longban or something and up front the three wingers are going to be the two wingers and the central attacking mid as you can see Coenza and Malcolm and Garcela Gonzalez and up front we have Zardes to bang in the goals and guys that's it for this episode and make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned with my channel for the next episode and other FIFA career mode tips also make sure to check out the other videos on my channel where I talk about the best players to buy and all that good stuff so yeah guys peace out